You've no doubt been hearing a lot about antibiotic-free food recently. So, what's the story? To understand, let's travel back in time. Alexander Fleming, a young bacteriologist at London St. Mary's Hospital, discovers, quite by accident, something remarkable. While working with Staphylococci, a serious source of infection in humans, he notices spots of mold growing on a discarded culture plate, and around each spot, a clear ring. The mold is penicillin, and it is killing the deadly bacteria. Howard Florey and Ernst Chain analyze the biochemistry, prove its efficacy, and together they deliver penicillin as a medicine to the world. The effects are astonishing. In less than three decades, life expectancy jumps by a remarkable eight years. With this comes a population boom, and there is now an urgent need to produce more food, especially protein. With some feed ingredients in short supply, government and farmers urge scientists to help. And in 1950, they have a breakthrough, discovering that animals fed low doses of antibiotics are healthier, live longer, and grow faster. This helps farmers provide people exactly what they want, more meat, milk, and eggs at cheaper prices. Antibiotics are now playing a spectacular new role for the survival of the human race. But warning signs appear. Early on, Fleming himself saw the potential for risk. The dose is too small, the microbes will not be cured, and there is a danger that they will be educated to resist penicillin. Antibiotics kill both bad bacteria causing illness as well as good bacteria protecting the body, potentially leaving drug-resistant bacteria to thrive and take over. In the 1960s, medical journals report on the threat. Some Americans lobby to ban antibiotics from the farm. Low doses in animal feed, they argue, lead to resistance in people who eat meat. In the 1990s and into the new millennium, the world sees an epidemic of antibiotic-resistant disease. So, consumers and governments take action. The European Union bans the use of antibiotics to fatten livestock. By 2013, regulations are in place in 46 countries around the world. And in the United States, the FDA announces a policy for removing indiscriminate antibiotic use by 2017. Restaurants like Chick-fil-A and McDonald's take the lead with plans to remove antibiotics from their chicken supply. Tyson, the U.S.'s biggest chicken processor, plans to eliminate all human antibiotics, and Walmart, the world's largest retailer, asks its suppliers to limit use of antibiotics to treating sick animals and never to use them to promote growth. Which brings us to today. When it comes to raising healthy livestock for food and giving consumers what they want, producers must now focus on antibiotic-free. The challenge farmers face is no longer if or when, but how. The good news is that while some have continued to debate the issue, one company has discovered a unique solution. Find out more about Alltech's antibiotic-free program at alltech.com slash antibiotic-free.